All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, or Rechach Wadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rechach Wadash is the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And um, this lesson here is going to be, you know, spiritual advice, all right? And how to deal with your women, or okay? And this is um, something that I've been dwelling upon for about maybe like two days. I've been pondering about this, meditating. And, you know, brothers, you need to learn how to deal with your women better, okay? And I'll say this, you know, before I, you know, get started, um, you know, Every man can deal with their maiden how they want to deal with their maiden, though, right? I can't necessarily tell you what to do, but I'll say this because this is what the scriptures say. As the book of uh, the Sirach says, it says, um, I believe it's Sirach, if I'm not mistaken. It says, all things are lawful, but uh, not expedient, okay? And, you know, when you go into that word expedient, it goes into profitability. Now, Yes, the things you may be doing are technically lawful, okay? You may not be breaking any laws, but are they profitable? Are they going to help you in your walk, okay? Are they going to, you know, uh, are things going to, you know, uh, profit you, okay? And you got to think like that. Are your actions going to profit you um, uh, in your walk, okay? And um, you know what? Maybe we'll get that first. I want to start off with this. Um, it says here in the book of, uh, what is this? Um, is that Proverbs, the fourth chapter? It says here, ponder the path of thy feet. This is Proverbs 4 and 26. Ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Now, I want to get this in verse 26, that word ponder. All right. It's Palak, all right? And <clears throat> it's uh, H6424, and it's it, uh, it means to weigh, make level balance, to make level or smooth, okay? Now, it says ponder the, the path of thy feet, all right? So you're supposed to be very balanced, all right, in your decision making, okay? That's why you got to weigh everything out in the balance, you know, and you dealing with your woman is one of those things. All right. You know, like I said, this is all spiritual advice. Now, as the scriptures talk about too in Ecclesiastes, the uh, third chapter, it says there's a time and a season for everything. Correct. Now, there are times where you're going to have to rebuke and reprove your woman. All right. It, it, and it's going to be harshly. It is what it is. But now does every situation have to be like that? Do you always have to yell? You know, do you always have to correct? And the answer is no. You don't always have to do that. You can give a soft answer. All right? You can give that soft answer. You know what? Let me get that real quick. Because the scriptures say here in the book of Proverbs 14. All right? The 14th chapter. Or is it is the 14th? Oh, whoops. Maybe it's the 13th chapter. Oh, it's the 15th chapter. Sorry. This is uh, Proverbs 15 and 1. It says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. You see, that soft answer, it's going to turn away wrath. And you got to remember, Akin, you're a woman being the weaker vessel. Okay, you got to remember she's the weaker vessel. She, um, She's going to react to how you uh, uh, talk to her and how you deal with her. Okay, and she's not going to uh, have that um, that understanding like we do. Okay, as you know, men, and that's because, as it says here, Salaki, I got to jump around a little bit, but it says here in the book of uh, what is it, Job, the 39th chapter, and the what verse is that? Um, give me one moment, Job 39, uh, where is it? And 17, it says here, because the Most High had deprived her of wisdom. Neither hath he imparted to her understanding. So you got to remember, the Most High didn't give the woman th the wisdom like that. That's not her uh, uh, role. Okay? She's not, uh, she's not supposed to be the one to, you know, lead in righteousness. She's supposed to be the follower. Okay? And with that being said, now, 
you as a man of the Lord with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? You have to, you know, learn when and when not to do things, all right? You got to really think about it. This truth, it really, when you think about it, a huge part of this truth, all right, is your decision making. It's when and when not to do particular things, all right? And that's walking with wisdom. That's, you know, uh, 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 um, you know, as the scriptures talk about, you know, uh, um, being wise as serpents and harmless as doves, okay? You have to walk with that wisdom. You have to be like King David, all right? And, you know, Lord willing, if we're a part of the house of David, right? We got to walk as King David. And one of my favorite scriptures that's uh, grown on me as I've gotten older in this truth, all right, is in the... um. It's in the uh, in the book of Samuel. I forget where it's at exactly, but it says that King David behaved himself wisely in all his ways. Okay. Now we got to be the same way. We got to behave ourselves behave ourselves wisely at all times. Now, are we gonna fall and stumble? No doubt about it. We're gonna fall. Okay. And with that being said, if we fall as men of the Lord, what about our women? You think they're gonna be perfect, especially being the weaker vessel? No, they are not going to be perfect. They're going to fall and stumble. And actually more than us. Okay? And what you have to do as being the husband, as being the stronger vessel, you have to learn how to pick her up, okay? And support her. All right? And learn how to uh, deal with her properly. Okay? And like I said, I'm not saying that you got to be a pushover. No, I'm not saying that. Like I said, there's times where you got to be firm, rough. Okay? You got to be, you know, stern. No doubt about it. But that doesn't um that 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 uh that doesn't need to be um be like that for every occasion, okay? Alright. Now I'm gonna read this Job uh again, uh Job thirty nine and seventeen. Because the most high hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. And that understanding, alright, let's get that real quick. The understanding, right? The understanding, right? It goes into discernment. That's one of the uh, the definitions for this, okay? D d discernment, you see? And l l you know, what? let's look up this word discernment, okay? Just for um for better understanding. And this is what the dictionary said: discernment. It says judgment, and it also says the ability to judge well. You see, women can't judge well, all right? So while, like I said, there's times where you have to, you know, you know get on your woman, no doubt about it. But there's times where you got to give, excuse me, that soft answer, okay? Talk to your woman. Talk to her, you know, hey, th there's times where you may just, you know, point a thing out or two like, hey, I, you know, I don't like the way you, you know, said this. Or I don't like the way you did that. I don't like the way you organized this. Whatever it may be, I don't know your particular situation. All right, I'm just giving examples here. You might uh, state these uh, things, okay? And, and and since you weren't angry, she's gonna um, she's really gonna take heed, okay? She's gonna take heed because look, you can say those same the same thing, but in an angry tone. And since she's emotional, and since she doesn't have. The ability to judge well because she has no discernment, okay? She has no understanding. She's going to get, you know, mad, frustrated. She's not going to really take heed to the words that are being said, okay? You know, she's going to be highly emotional. Then you're going to get more frustrated and then you're going to get into, you know, a fight, you know, and things aren't going to, uh, um, basically going to put more stress not only on, uh, uh, uh yourself, but her also. Okay? And it's just going to lead to more problems. And, and, and look, we're here to eliminate problems. All right? Us being men of the Lord, we're problem solvers. We're not trying to add uh, uh, problems, you know, into our life. All right? We're trying to eliminate these things. Okay? You see? All right? Now, um... All right, I got the Proverbs 15. All right, let's get this, uh... This, uh, what is that, um, the book of Peter, all right? That's what I originally wanted to, uh, to start with, but the Spirit had me hop into that first, okay? Now, 
in this book of First Peter 3 and 7. This is a heavy scripture, for, especially for you brothers that have a woman, okay? You know, really take account, all right, to what's being said here. This is First Peter 3 and 7. It says, Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. So you have to dwell with your woman according to knowledge, all right? And where do you find that? In the scriptures, okay? Now, I'll say this. Um, This is what I like to do. I'm not saying that, you know, you brothers have to do this. This is something that helps me out in my walk, okay? When I'm doing my readings, I tend to read two books at a time. I'll read, you know, uh, let's say, you know, maybe a major prophet. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll read a gospel. I'll read, you know, maybe an epistle, right? And then what I also do is while I'm reading those books, I read one of the book of wisdom, all right? One of the book of wisdom. And it would be um, books such as Psalms. Proverbs, Wisdom of Solomon, Sirach, Ecclesiastes, right? And I highly recommend Akim read these books frequently, okay? Because these books, they teach you how to walk in this world, okay? They teach you to walk with wisdom, okay? Th those books, all right? Um, well, all the books, uh, you know, are in reality, right? They should be applied every day. But I'll say this. Those books in particular, though, they should definitely be applied daily. All right? Because like I said, they teach you how to walk in this world and uh, uh, walk in your daily life. All right? So with that being said, the scriptures talk about, you know, how to deal with, you know, your woman. It teaches you how to... um. Not be so angry, because this is what the scripture said says about um, all right, ruling your spirit. All right, let's get that in Proverbs sixteen and thirty two. It says, "He that is slow." This is Proverbs sixteen and thirty two. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. So, the reason why that statement is made is because if you're able to rule, or if if you're um slow to anger, all right, you have better decision making. You're not being reactive, okay? You're not uh, basically making your decisions, okay, off of a, a particular emotion, such as rage, okay? You know, anger. You're not going to do these things. A man that is calm, cool, and collective, they're able to think, think things through properly, all right? They can, um, no, they're like a chess player. They're able to think multiple steps ahead. All right, and that's how we gotta walk. We have to be a chess player in this thing. You can't just be a checkers player because a check checkers is very simple. It's A B C one two three. Chess is very complicated. You know, it's very um uh, complex. All right. So I'm gonna read this Proverbs sixteen and thirty two again. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. He that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh the city. Okay, so you got to learn how to rule your spirit, brothers. You can't always get frustrated. You know, you can't put, always uh, uh, think negative. Can't always be aggravated, you know. You, you, you can't put your woman down 24-7, okay, because she didn't, you know, do things the way you liked it, okay. You know, these are just some uh, things to think about. Like I said, you got to have that... Um, Gotta have that mercy, man. All right. Gotta have that mercy. Yeah, remember the reason why our women are out of pocket right now is uh, first and foremost, she's in the flesh, man. Like we're in the flesh. And with that being said, being in the flesh causes what? You to stumble, fall. Okay, you to um um you know you to go off basically. All right. See, and the second thing is we're under curses, man. Oh man, the Bible has so many curses. One of the curses is, um, you know, uh, in Deuteronomy twenty-eight, I believe fifty-five, it talks about uh, uh, the woman is gonna have an evil eye towards her husband. That's a curse. So there's times where demons hop on our our women, all right, to afflict us, to go off, to be you know rude, all right, to to be a uh, 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 um. Hard-headed, stiff-necked, okay? 
And, and another reason why, the third thing is the reason why the Lord is, uh, has done this is because look at us as a nation, starting with the men. Okay? What did we do? We played the harlot. We were being hard -head, you know, hard-headed, stiff-necked, okay? Complicated. So the Lord said, all right, you did that to me. I'm going to make your women do that to you now. That's why we have such an issue as a whole nation, all right? You know, between our men and our women. Because the Lord uh, uh, did that to us. Remember that. All right? But with that all being said, what did the Lord do to us? He took us in. He had compassion, mercy. And we got to do the same thing with our women. We got to take them in. All right? Have compassion and mercy on them. You know, especially if they're really trying. That's the that's another thing too. Is if your woman is really trying, all right, she's trying to, you know, uh, uh, fall in order, you know, you know, please you, okay? Hey, man, work with her. You know, work with that woman, man. Now, if she's being a demon, man, so be it, man. Hey, you got to do what you got to do as a man, you know? You may, it may even get to a point where you got to cut her off because she, you know, she's that much of a hindrance, you know, for you in pushing this truth, all right? You know, or she's causing that much hell, man. Whatever it is, gets to a point where you might have to cut her off if she's not listening. Okay, it is what it is. But that's all in the balance. Okay, you have to weigh that out as a man. All right, like I said, I I don't know uh, your particular situation. I don't know what's going on. I, I I I you know that's something that you have to deal with as a man. All right, but like I said, I'm just trying to give you all you know all you Akim out there spiritual advice. All right, now let's go back to that uh First Peter three and seven. It says, likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel. Remember, she is the, the weaker vessel, okay? She's going to be frail, all right? She's going to be sporadic. She'll be highly emotional, okay? She's not going to be perfect. She's going to stumble more. Look, we stumble as men of the Lord. We fall, we trip, you know? So how much more the woman? And the woman's going to fall and trip more than you. Because she's the weaker vessel. And as you, you know, as being that 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 that, that pillar for her, you know, you got to support her and help her get back up. Get her back on the right track. Okay? Remember, oh, yeah, use encouraging words, man. Remember, words are very powerful. You don't always have to, you know, push a woman down. Hey, man, hey, compliment her on things. And if she falls, hey, tell her, you know... A ways to improve. All right. Think about these things, Akim. All right. And it says, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Okay. But, um, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, I don't want to, you know, drag this lesson out. All right. You know, I hope this was adding, you know, edifying through the spirit of Pai Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know, and I hope this lesson gets up because this is the second time I do this lesson. Satan hindered, you know, you know, hindered me pushing this word. But, you know, Lord willing. You know, um, everything gets saved this time. And, um, you know, this word, you know, uh, gets to you, brothers. All right? But, you know, hey, Akim, you know, just learn how to deal with your women better. Be more wise. You know, hey, we got to grow. That's the one thing. Hey, this truth is about growth. And it's in all aspects of life. Whatever it may be, the Lord wants you to grow and improve. All right? So just remember that. Okay? And, uh, you know, like I said, I hope this, you know, is edifying. I hope this helps you out. And maybe this will, um, you know, uh, um, help improve maybe your relationship with your woman. Or you, maybe you start applying certain things that are said, you know, that was said in this video. Okay? And maybe it'll help you out. Okay? And with that, you know, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory. How about Shimei Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there. Shalom.